All right, we're back uh, from a little break. Man, I gotta say, it does feel really refreshing doing a comment uh, an LP an LP again because I haven't uh, I haven't recorded an actual playthrough in like months. Really? Yeah, what was the last thing we did? I felt gold. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The first Coco level, by the way. Um, I'm trying to remember, like, was it the Jungle Beat stuff? When did we even do those? Started in November. Still had to finish recording. Ah, oh, yeah, for reference, um... Uh, uh, I... I'm not sure if these are gonna go up in the, around the same time as the Jungle Beat stuff. Fail. Um... God, she's round. Yo! Uh, but, um, yeah, me, like, us and Jason are doing Jungle Beat as well at the same time during this, rec uh, at the time of this recording, and we still haven't finished that game. Um, we kind of got, um, the game kind of trolled us because you have to get all the, uh, you basically have to get the best rank in all the stages in order to, to get uh, the, the secret levels, uh, or whatever. So I kind of just had to grind the game out on my own time to get them. Uh, and now that I, I've unlocked all of them now, so at this point we're just kind of waiting for all of us to be at the same... To be... Together at the same time. Uh, and I, I... I just felt like recording something again, so we're just doing this today. But unfortunately Jason's like at work right now. So, it's, yeah, it, just, it had to just be us today. I but, forgot about this segment. Yeah. Thank, go thank goodness they take a long time to s throw their swords, because otherwise we'd be screwed. But, um... It's a weird thing. I, I have a weird, um... Feelings, weird feelings towards these Coco levels because, um, level design wise, they're pro they're probably some of the be better levels, but Coco is basically just the worst version of Crash in this game, and she's just not as fun to play as. So, it's kind of unfortunate that like some of the best levels are relegated to a worse character. Uh, it would have been. Oh, dang it. It would have been better if it was more like uh, Insane Trilogy, where it was she was just a pal- uh, On intents and purposes, she was basically a skin, and yeah. that was still less of a downgrade than this. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, she doesn't have a- She has the same general moveset, but she- I don't think she gets a double jump. Um, and- Oh crap, uh... Um, yeah, she- The roundhouse kick? Yeah, she has the roundhouse kick and the s sweep kick thing, which can be helpful, uh, if you want to take care- if you want to, like, hit a box underneath a TNT or whatever and be safe. But... So, like, for this, for instance. Or I guess not. <laughs> I guess nitros aren't good for that. Or maybe I positioned it wrong, I don't know. I wonder if this game likes nitros. Yeah, this one's pretty cool though. Uh, I like the Japanese kind of aesthetic. Is this Japanese? I thought it was Chinese. Chi yeah, I, I get the two mixed up a lot. Yeah, it is more China, China, more China themed, I guess. It's like a, it's like an extension of her levels on the Great Wall in the last game. Yeah, I never thought about that. Uh, now that you mentioned that, um, there's um, there there are actually no um, oh crap, uh, pure levels. Yeah, there's there are no um, pure levels or anim, uh, animal riding levels in this game at all, which is really weird. Like, 
when you actually when you think about it because um every game up to this point had had one uh well the the main trilogy anyway and then again then again crash bash had the the um the polar riding mini game and, Cra and Crash Team Racing is basically an entire game dedicated to riding on ve a vehicle, so... Yeah, I guess every game up to this point, even including spin-offs, had riding novels. So that's kind of funny. I mean, this game sells riding novels, not riding animals. Yeah, that's true. I think, I think Travis Tales wanted Polar to come back, but they ran out of time. That's what it feels like. Oh jeez, I thought I landed properly. Just I... realize we now have actual models for the Wumper Fruits and they're not just sprites anymore. That's true, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Welcome to, welcome to 2001 Crash. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. The, like these levels, now that you mentioned, like like it's an extension of like Great Wall of China stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind if these were some some of the levels where um, you go through like a platforming part, and then Pura's just like shows up at like later on, and you start riding riding her uh, him or I, I think it's a he. Um, the Gavin seemingly confirmed Pura to be a girl like in twenty twelve, I think. Oh, it's, it's, it's weird, because I keep hearing, like, conflicting information, because I always assumed Pyrrha was a, was a girl, but I, when I look on, on, like, the wiki page, it said it's, they said it's a, it's a guy, so I, I don't know what to believe. Sinking feeling, I don't even remember this level. This level kind of sucks. <laughs> Is this where you ride a dragonfly? Yep. Dragonfly. <laughs> yeah. Um. I did get to put, use it as a kid, and I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> cool vehicle, and I'm. It's a cool-looking vehicle. Yeah, it is. It's like it's just annoying uh, how it works. It's, you have to hold the X button, um, and wait for the um. Wait, wait for those lines to go into the circle, and then you can shoot, and it's just kind of tedious. And there's like no. It's trying to like act offensively towards like the other the other enemies is almost is near impossible because like considering like how slow the targeting system is. So look at that. That's like you might you might as well just aim for the boats and just ignore the flying enemies and just hope you live. Yeah, there's not much else to say about this level, it's just kind of tedious. I don't know, do you, do you have anything to add? Or? Yeah, that level just kind of exists. Volcano. They were mining. I don't know if it was. Graph of Cortex. Like, the original plans the Traveler's Tales had were actually pretty interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, I thought like didn't they want to have the elementals like like int like screw with you in the in the levels or something? Like, I feel like they played up the like they, I think they played the natural disasters. Mm. Yeah, they actually made like did wanted to do a lot more with the elementals. I've heard. Yeah, play the natural disaster theme even more. Like um, I just recall one. I guess it was a beta. Back planned to be like an open world platformer. Hmm. Like Crash was just traveling through a. Traveling through what now? He was traveling to an island that had a erupting volcano. Hmm. I think that gets uh that got. They, that basically transform into one of the later levels. Portal, the end get the end level portal look cooler. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is gonna be a very bad score. Um, but. Yeah, this game. Yeah, this game was originally going to be a lot different, but that's. I don't know. It it was probably Universal or something that was just like, I oh, know you don't have time to do this. Like, just make it like the original Crash games and make it quirk. Or something like that. Cause um. Yeah, this originally wasn't supposed to be, um, a Crash Free clone. Uh, come on, be quick. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Oh gosh, you're going to die. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I, don't, I, I, I do not care if that's just a sapphire. Uh, it, it might have been a platinum, but I doubt it. That was pretty slow. But, um... Yeah, what else did have? Uh, what else is uh, out there about it? Like, what else would they have put in the game originally? Oh, it was a platinum. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Two water levels in this. Warp missile subsection. Uh, kinda. I think I uh, you. St I think you start underwater and then you go into a platforming area. But uh, there, like, there is dog games and Twin Sanity probably have the most development stories online. Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't hear much about Raffle Cortex's development history. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame because, um, like, as we've been saying, like, it, it's a, it, it was originally going to be completely different, like, nothing like what we got. The so, thing is, I think most of the people who worked on this game are probably still at Traveler's Tales, so it's not like they disbanded, like, yeah. every other Crash team. Mmm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's, it's enemy, it's enemies placement like that where they just kind of sneak up on you it's not really fair design um okay i just rush through or not i don't know much of this that cortex is like we all we know is that this is kind of the um, Hey, all you did was just touch it. It didn't break it. I mean, shoot it. Yeah, there's just some random TNT that just, just like, screw you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. At least this, um... They made th this th this part is much more narrow than the other one, so it's really it's a lot harder to miss a box, thankfully. But, uh, the, the, the aquatic life in this in these levels are more cartoony than they were. Mm. Lower levels. 
Yeah. I do like the idea of a vehicle level, uh, like transitioning into a platforming level like that, though. Yeah, but yeah, the it's it's interesting because the uh, Twin Sanity is basically uh, the con the general concept of it is basically what um, Rafa Cortex originally was supposed to be, in a sense. Um, is they, you know, this is something I've always kind of wondered. Uh, how come the steel crates are apparently safe from electricity? Yeah, <laughs> like you, they should still be getting electrified. Like this is ridiculous. We don't even have a double jump yet, and we're like having to do with this kind of platforming. Which is manda- dang it. This is mandatory, by the way, like, this is not even, like, part of a secret route or whatever. Like, there's- <laughs> This game doesn't understand difficulty scaling. It just does whatever the hell it wants. Near of development? Yeah, but still. I keep on thinking I hit the box. Would you have any interest in replaying this game? I would, if someone actually, if Activision would actually re-release it. <laughs> like that none of the PS2 Crash games were ever like given a classics release on the PS3 is... Uh, that is annoying, because I, I would love to play Twin Sanity on the, on the PS3. Mm. Oh, dang it. Okay. Shouldn't the electricity be detonating the nitro crates by default? Yeah, they probably should be. Right, you know, at this point, I'm just gonna pretend all the crates are just immune to electricity. Like that's just that's how crates in the Crash universe work. Yeah, I guess they. Yeah, they, the the crates kind of just works function on their own accord. I'm just still gonna ignore those guys. They're, ju they're just, they're just being scientists, I guess. Yeah, th this level really feels like it should have been, uh, like left for the third warp room because it. A lot of this feels like they should have wait waited for you to have a double jump at least. Especially stuff with the like these kinds of boxes. Like, what the heck? Um. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna get rid of these first. Um. Hopefully, I can reach that. The fact that the fact that I had to resort to that is silly. Oh my lord. Like, the, 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 see how silly this is. Oh. This feels like a ROM hack. I uh, hope. Mm -mm. No, nah, that doesn't feel comfortable. I'm just gonna do that. Should what now? To detonate the nitro crates. <laughs> okay, I feel like I can reach this. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever designed these bo these bonus levels are evil. Uh, there were night. Wait, am I missing anything? 
There may have been three earlier nitro crates. I'm gonna hope that's right. Come on, go back so we can see. Okay, good. Oh, there they are. Oh. Thankfully, uh, Sorry, what... even those... hmm? Just fish. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Thankfully, the bonus levels get a bit more manageable once we get the double jump. But again, the uh, they uh, these types of bonus levels should have just been in warp room three onwards. Is all I'm gonna say. Wait. Uh, okay, I was just making sure I didn't miss something. I forgot you could crawl in this game. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Nice. And now for everyone's favorite boss. I forgot, like, I forget how fast, like, crash games, like, how quickly crash games go by. I mean, then again, I say that, but, um, it's the second quest or post game, whatever you want to call it, is, uh, kind of drags out. Uh, so tell us how this is the best boss ever, and that um, uh, is it, it, is totally the best, and uh, you are wrong if you think otherwise. <laughs> no, this this boss like th this boss actually just sucks. I <laughs> I do not like this fight at all. Yeah, because stuff like that, like, the platform sinks after a while, you, you need to, uh, gauge, um, where he's gonna, like, shoot his projectiles, and later on he just, he does more things, and it's really easy to die here, and the platforms are further away than they look sometimes. And the hitboxes are way bigger than they look, too. This is not a good, this is not a fun boss. Uh, do you have anything to add? Uh. And it should. Hmm? Bottle, uh, battle drags on longer than it should. Hmm. Oh crap. Uh, he doesn't even have a health bar, that's the weirdest thing. I will, I will never understand Caddy uh, saying that this fight's a joke. Because uh, this is just the most horribly designed thing. Okay, no, I, I see... I've seen worse designed bosses, but... In terms of like crash stuff, this is de this is definitely one of the worst ones. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> this is it's basically like okay, let, let's bring let's bring back the entropy fight but make it unfair in every way. You had a double jump in that at that point and warped. Yeah. That's the thing too. Ugh. It's stuff like that too, like you try to avoid one and he just does another one before you can react in time. Yeah, like uh, Crash Free, uh you have the double jump at least, so if you if you need that extra you need that to uh Dang it, I tried to anticipate at that time. Uh you need that extra help, you have it. In this one just Good luck. 
Oh, there's also the, the, there's the fact that you had to platform to Entropy as well. So the double jump can help for that too. You have to slide jump to reach the platforms? Um, no, it doesn't. F I don't think so, but I'm ma mainly doing it to get, like, to avoid the cr uh, crunches uh, things. There we go. Oh. Now I've gained a skill that would have helped you in this battle. Yeah. I'm kind of curious what the fight would look like with the double jump death tornado spin thing. Maybe we we could do that later just for just for the fun of it. I was kind of curious. Hmm. Catharsis. Yeah. See if it makes it any easier. I did die like 15 times. But you are still collecting those worthless crystals. Well, you've gotten this far, and this is as far as you're gonna get. Pyro the fire elemental is sent back. He's also much easier, so you know. Come on! I don't need some flaming mess to help me. I can take crunch on by myself. Crunch, you will do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I don't think we're going to start Warp Room 3, but let's just see what levels there are. Got the Gauntlet, what was... Oh, it's a Midi. Alright. Tsunami, that's a Coco level, I believe. Smoking the Bandicoot. Oh, that's that All racing right. level. Um, Eskimo Rolls, another one of the Super Monkey Ball stages. Baron Height Frenzy. Uh, this is a fine lineup, um, but yeah, I think we should stop here. It's, get, it's past two a.m. for me, uh, so let's just save. So we, uh, um, the Crash Four playthrough. Uh, yeah, it's um, let's not delete game. It's going by pretty well so far, um, and. Uh, We'll continue next time with Warp Room 3 and see how far we can get. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, fun to, being able to do a playthrough again after so long. So, we'll see you guys next time. Well.